Hi, everyone. It's Coach Mo coming to you live today. It is Motivational Monday. And today we're talking about how to stop your fear and finally land your dream job. Fear is a loaded, loaded issue. Some people know it by the acronym of false evidence appearing real. And that's really quite true because false evidence means it's not true. Um, but we're thinking it's true because our belief structure is allowing us to take it in as truth. And why does that happen? Why, Mo? If you're just listening to me for the first time here on Facebook Live, I am Coach Mo Fall. I'm your kick-ass career coach, and I want to show you how to bring your soul to work so that you can land your dream job. You know, when you bring just the external parts of you to your job, you're efforting, you're struggling, you're pushing against the weight up the hill. It is not a fun journey. But when you bring the internal you, when you bring that internal you to work, you now can be in the ease and flow. Hello, Amy, how are you? So fear is something that grips us by the neck. Ah! And what it does, once we've interpreted something as false evidence that is appearing real, we now have a response to it. And that response that we have in our body mimics all of the responses that we've had to similar false evidence. And maybe back somewhere a decade ago or when you were little or when you were running around having a lot of fun and someone told you to slow down and not run and don't have fun because you might hurt yourself. When you were in an emotional moment and you were having an emotional chunk that stopped your feeling state and put you into a different feeling state, that puts you into a zone where you're afraid of feeling that way. So you're afraid of feeling happy and having fun because you're afraid that you're going to get tripped and fall down and not have fun. And then you start to collect evidence to reinforce that belief system that came from probably someone who raised you, who loved you very much, but they were coming out of their own fear. And that then embeds a fear gene, if you will, literally, in your physiology. So you begin to have a reactor system to fear about things out here that may have never hurt you before. See, our brain is wired to prevent us from getting hurt and prevent us from danger. It's how the brain is wired at the very primitive basis of our brains. And it causes a physiological reaction in our body that says, fear, danger, be careful, don't do that. And our physiology takes over our body and now we have a physical response that our brain knows is fear. And that changes everything because now our body is in charge. Our body is now in charge of our feelings. Human beings are the only being on this planet that we know about that has something that can check our primitive nature and it's the prefrontal cortex. Our brain has a mechanism that allows us to think about what we're experiencing and to make changes or altercations in how we're feeling or how we're thinking based on this prefrontal cortex. And that's really quite something because we can now override our primitive brain. And when we override our primitive brain, guess what? We can now be an evolved human being. We can be an evolved human being now and override what would be fear that would stop us from doing something that our soul really desires. So when we talk about fear over our lifetime, this false evidence appearing real has actually begun to hijack our physical body. Our physical body now is in charge and now we're in trouble. Because when our physical body is reacting to fear and it has the primitive wiring into the fear part of our body, we are going to be like, nope, 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 no. We're going to shut down opportunities. We're going to shut down possibilities. We're going to even shut down the best parts of ourselves because when we start feeling happy and excited, 
that false evidence appearing real thing is going to kick in and our body's going to be like, no, every time you feel happy, something bad happens. Every time you feel excited, something bad happens. And that repetitive habit that most adults end up getting over their lifetime, if that is not checked and changed, you're going to be responding to fear and you're going to be a reactionary person making decisions from fear. And I will tell you this, a successful person has never made a good decision from fear. Never. People who are not successful tend to make decisions from fear all the time, all the time. And so what happens is that their decision making is up and down and up and down. If they're feeling good and things are going well on the outside, they'll make a great decision and do something wonderful. And as soon as something happens that starts to threaten who they are or what that great decision was, they retreat into fear mode and the body takes over and says, see, I told you so. One of the key elements of being successful is learning how to hang in there when things aren't necessarily 100% done, because they never are. Hang in there when you're creating a new identity. Hang in there when you're creating new ideas of yourself and you are venturing into new, beautiful, awesome territory. You've got to hang in there. You've got to hang in there. And you've got to do that by actually knowing where you're going. The only way you can go in there and know how you're functioning is by allowing your soul and your inner being to emerge. Allowing all that is good and great of you to come out and help guide your decision making. And when you allow your soul to emerge and guide and direct that, you begin to tossing fear to the side because that inner being of you knows 100% purely and certainly that you are guiding and directing the ship, not fear. When you give fear the steering wheel, when you let fear take over, you are not in charge. Your emotions are and your physiological habit of fear is in charge. Here's what I want you to consider for yourself. I invite you to bring yourself up a few notches in your brain, in your, in your vision, in your creativity of who you can be and who you want to be. And when you bring yourself toward the vision of a higher version of you, what is she coming forward with? What is she gearing yourself toward? What is that higher version of you desiring in life? What does she want to do? Where does she want to go in life? Please understand this for yourself. That is the inner being who wants to guide and direct the show. She's the real you. So as you're coming forward out of fear and claiming your inner being and your higher self, please keep the fear going to the side. Keep it to the side. Thank you for sharing fear. Thank you for helping me stay out of trouble in the past, but no longer needed. No longer needed. Thank you very much. And as you cast that aside and you allow your inner being to emerge as the true you, as the soulful you, you can now make wiser decisions. And it is that energy and that attractor pattern and that version of you that is going to interview more powerfully that is gonna be able to stand behind a super powerful resume, that is gonna be able to articulate and, and share all the wonderful great things that you've done in your current work or in your new job or in some place that you're eager to get uh, an interview with or network with or, or start to build affiliations of people who can lift you in your career. You have got to be able to stand in your own truth of how awesome you are. And the only way we can unleash that is by letting go of the fear that may be gripping you. You know, all of us have elements of it because we're human beings having this experience that causes us to quantify things. Is this friend or foe, friend or foe, friend or foe? And our brain wants that type of certainty as we go along. It's up to you to get that soul lifted up, lifted up 
that beautiful emerging part of you. Lift it up so that you can cast that fear aside and say, no more, no thank you. You're not serving me anymore. I want to go in the direction of my soul and my dreams. And then you begin to emerge. So many women who have started my kick-ass workshop, 12-week workshop, I have a beautiful structured program where we take women through a 12-week process and help them to land their dream jobs. In the first week, they're speaking differently to themselves, they're talking differently to their friends and family, they're showing up differently in their life and in their world. And finally, they have some tools and techniques to guide and direct the things that have been stopping them, the things that have been thrown in their way. No longer, they say to themselves, no longer am I going to let that hold me back. I want to have a fuller life, a fuller expression of me. Just in a few short days, lives are so far catapulted above where they've been. And then you add the additional great coaching and additional strategies, resume building, LinkedIn, interview prep, and all sorts of tools and techniques for life, for life. And careers and lives zoom ahead at, at warp speed because we are taking care of exactly the thing that holds most human beings back from their greatness, and that is fear. Understand what fear is doing for you and to you and begin to identify it so you can cause it to be limited. You can begin to call it out and say no thank you, and then emerge as the inner you, as the inner driver of where you're headed and what you're all about for yourself. Please know you have everything inside of you to emerge as a powerful, beautiful, wonderful, professional woman making your impact in this world. Everything's inside of you. The keys are to open them up by using, yes, as Debbie said, tools for life. Opening up your soul and your beauty and your power and your greatness for you to live the life that you were put on this earth to live. And so then you can have the influence and the impact that you've always wanted to have. And people maybe didn't open the doors for you because they were responding to your fear. They were responding to this the, the energy vibration that you were sending out of fear. I don't know if I can. I don't know. Should I speak up? Last time I did, it didn't go well. So if you are keeping fear as the primary driver, you're missing out on your soul's purpose for sure. It's only in unleashing the fear, letting it go, that you open up your soul. And so I want you to consider this week on this Motivational Monday, consider this week what you must do to step out of fear and into your awesomeness. Perhaps you need to recognize all the wonderful things that you've done. Perhaps you need to identify for yourself the beautiful parts of you. If you're in my workshop, you know we do that at the very, very first week. We help you unleash the beautiful parts of you, identify them, look at the mirror, see them, practice them, and truly see all of the wonderful, wonderful things that are, that are in your life. Hey, Debbie, it's always great to see you. Nicole, great to see you. Keisha, nice to see you. Kim, Jean, Kimberly, nice to see you. All of you, very nice to see you. Robin, great to see you. And Tamara, nice to see you. Um, Amy, nice to see you. Here's, here's the thing. We want a nice life. We want happiness and we want joy. Oh, is Paula here? Did I miss? Well, maybe she didn't comment. I missed her. Hello, everyone. Uh, we want a higher life. We want a better life. It's part of the soul's nature on this planet. And when it is cloaked in fear that we have taken on over the decades of our lives, we are always in our own way. So this week, how can you shed a few layers of fear? How can you shed the habits of taking that false evidence and making it appear real. Check in on yourself. Be the observer of your life and of your reactions and allow yourself to see, perhaps from a, a vantage point out here, hey, that isn't really true. It doesn't, that doesn't, just because she said that doesn't mean 
what I think it might mean. I don't have to interpret it that way. I can just know that those were just words that were said. So what we really need to do to free ourselves from fear is to be the observer first of our fear. We need to then make sure that we are identifying all the wonderful aspects of ourselves. And we have to practice the wonderful aspects of ourselves. Practice them by witnessing them also. Practice them by seeing that. Practice them by, by writing them every single day. If you know my work, if you've worked with me directly, you know that the big thing every morning, 10 minutes of meditation, 10, min, 10 brags and 10 gratitudes. If you do that every single morning, you will begin to see the mirror of how awesome your life is and how awesome you are, and you will live within that. And then you will have reactions and actions and responses more than reactions that are grounded in how awesome you are. It's the way to root out fear. We don't do it necessarily directly. We do it by building ourselves up. If we go after fear, we're gonna energize it and increase it. So what we need to do is to go after the things we want to energize and increase. And that's the beautiful parts of ourselves. And in doing that, we melt away this thing called fear. We start to push it aside. We start to ignore it. We start to not giving it attention because it's like a, a, a disruptive child who wants attention. So you just do the right thing for yourself and you just step into your power and you will have a path toward your dream self and your dream job. Rooting out fear comes by raising yourself up from the inside. When you're that awesome version of you, when you step into that for you, you are going to melt away the fears that have been chaining you, prisoning you, and allowing you to feel a certain level of comfort about your life. But what they've really been doing is holding you back. That false comfort is also false evidence appearing real. So if you hide in fear, you will not live your life's purpose. If you allow fear to drive your, your train, drive your car, be in the driver's seat, all of that, you will not be living your purpose. If you allow your soul to get in charge and to drive your life, you will be living your purpose and fear will melt away. And you will have conversations with your fear and you will be able to say no longer necessary, no longer invited, no thank you. And it's another daily practice to allow yourself to say no thank you to fear. The primitive brain, which is attached to the ego, protecting the self, wants to convince you to hang on to that fear because you don't really know what's gonna happen. And then there's the stock market, and then there's the this, and then there's the weather, and life will never be good enough, and, and, and I just don't know, and then I have to go grocery shopping and make beds, and, and I have to feed the family, and then I have to go to work, and it's, oh my God. Or you can live in the, wow, this is awesome. I have a full life and I have all of this responsibility and opportunity to spread my greatness and to be the awesome version of me. Wow. Wow, how blessed, how grateful. Come from there and you will live the life of your dreams. If you'd like to learn more, if you'd like to do more, if you'd like to be more, then we should work together. So many of these lovely ladies who are commenting here, and thank you all ladies, you are examples of what it's like to live an intentional, beautiful, self-loving life where actually everyone else in your life gets the benefits of you loving the self. Indeed, Robin, I so love my full life, much abundance, absolutely. And when you love yourself, everyone else gets a piece of that. When you don't love yourself, everyone else gets a piece of that too. So you have a choice on which life to live, the life of fear or the life of loving. And it has to start with loving of you. Love the self. It's the only way you can live a life loving others is if you love the one inside. The woman in the mirror has to get first rate. And if she doesn't, she's not able to pass it around because she has nothing to give. And so many of the women I've worked with know exactly what I'm talking about. And once you begin to feed your soul and see your soul and look and notice how awesome you are, everyone else gets fed too. And you don't even have to try. 
every woman in the workshop right now, she's in a week. She's already changing her language, how she interprets things, how she shows up. Guess what? Her husband is getting the benefits too. And as a matter of fact, he's interviewing for a dream job also. At the same time, she's in the workshop. And he's off to the races. He's knowing it's possible now. Whereas just a week ago, they were both living the life of really not thinking it was possible. And when you don't think it's possible, guess what? You're right. When you do think it's possible, guess what? You're right there also. So whatever you're committed to, whether it be committed to your fears or committed to your dreams, you are right. No matter what you're committed to, that is the thing that is going to show up and evolve and be your life. You must be committed to a higher version of you, committed to your gratitudes, committed to your awesomeness. Don't be committed to your fears. They will chain you and choke you and cause pain and suffering and struggle and aggravation and scarcity. They will win if you let them. But you have within you a beautiful soul that wants to emerge. And this is the work that, that I do in my workshop. I have a beautiful team of coaches, gorgeous group of beautiful evolving souls who are all doing this work together. It's a sacred space. If you haven't checked in to my webinar, you can go to that mofall.com slash masterclass. If you've already seen my webinar, if you already understand my work, if you already like what you say, what you hear and what you see from me, book a clarity call. It's how everything gets started. I was actually reflecting this weekend about uh, the women who I've been working with for over three years and every single one of their lives, their trajectory is just amazingly beautiful and they're, they feel so much better about themselves and their families and their better mothers and wives and partners and, and, and workers and executives and leaders. They're better people on the planet. So they're making the planet better. But it all started with the clarity call. It all started with the deep dive into what was really going on. And my career breakthrough strategists are expert at this. What is going on in your career? What's happening? What's holding you back? Can you be better? Can you be somewhere else? Can you be making more money? Can you be freer and happier and not have that toxic environment or toxic boss? And if we hear you and understand what's going on with your, with your career, if that's the problem that we solve and you seem like the right kind of person to, for us to work with, we'll invite you in. And once we invite you into our workshop, we are going to be committed to you, committed to your journey, and committed to what is going on and what is possible for you. So book your clarity call. And you can do that at mofall.com slash live clarity call. mofall.com slash live clarity call. And thank you, ladies. Yes, Robin, your clarity call was your ticket to your new journey, your ticket to your prosperity, your ticket to feeling awesome about yourself, your ticket to everything. And uh, Tanya, nice to see you here today as well. Paula, oh my goodness, um, so blessed and grateful to know you and your journey. Uh, yeah, things were pretty, pretty down uh, when we got to work um, last year. And look at you now. Um, you're just a shining, beautiful woman with so much in front of you and so much that you are have been doing and being um, now in your, in your new life. So happy for that. Um, Keisha. Always great to see you here and so happy for your new job and your shining soul. Um, by the way, saw some great pics uh, of you um, over the weekend and you just look radiant as always. It was great to see you last year when I was in New York City. Uh, Tanya, so great. Gratitude for you as well and thank you. Yes, we've got a beautiful team of support and really we want all the souls on the planet to rock it to the next highest level and to be totally free and happy and joyful and vibrating at the highest levels that human souls can. It's what we are passionate about. My team and I love lifting souls. And here's the thing. We love lifting souls, but what we are so committed to doing is to helping those lifted souls get great outcomes in the real, physical, tangible, manifested world. It's great to feel great. But if you don't put that toward leveraging the things that are going to make your physical world, your physical life better, it's just a feel great moment. And that's great. But when we attach it to how we live our lives and what we do every day, it's lasting. And then it has true payback. So when you're vibrating at a higher level and you're able to get that dream job, 
and make more money and have a bigger influence and impact and feel better about yourself and your contributions in the world. And that paycheck is bigger and you're able to do more cool, fun stuff in your, in your, with your family in your future and your current life. That's just, that's, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. We're here to enjoy the bounty of all that God has given us in this world. And by doing our soul's brightest version of us, all of that can come together. Over my, yes, Debbie Grant, impact 529 beautiful ladies. And it's a $10 million impact to their lives, to their lives, additional income. And I believe we're somewhere around 4 million right now um, in the impact that we have brought back into these women's lives. Some of you here today, and thank you, Kelly, so much, so much for that. Um, so happy to actually see you as a, as a, beautiful new grad moving into your next uh, layer of life and your next beautiful thing. <sighs> I feel so grateful right now for all of you who have shown up here um, to just keep learning and growing and, and building your lives and, and having that next layer of, of opportunity and possibility for you. We have a saying, as you all know, who work with us, the better it gets, the better it gets. And that is a beautiful, beautiful way to live life. Unfortunately, the reverse is true that the worse it gets, the worse it gets. So if you're vibrating low, you're going to attract low and it's going to keep coming and you're going to keep focusing on it. And it's going to keep coming and you're going to be like digging that freaking hole. The minute you change toward looking upward and looking at more opportunity and how awesome you are, you start to attract that and you get higher and higher and higher vibing of a self. And you attract that level of life, people, experiences, and things. And we see it every single day in the workshop. This kick-ass kick workshop is a place where we get to see miracles literally come together in these women's lives. So do your homework on melting your fear by focusing on you and being the observer of your fear responses. Don't give them power. Just observe them. Hmm, interesting. Thanks for sharing. And then be awesome. Do not react, respond, or create greater enhanced beliefs and commitments to your fears. Do not do that. Love your inner you. All right, Michelle, she's riding that positivity wave. Good for you. Good for you. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Have a fantastic Motivational Monday. And if you want more, if you want more good stuff in your life, or if you want to turn the corner and get out of that pit, please book your call mofall.com slash live clarity call. There is a better life for you on the other side of that call. There is, as so many women here, thank you ladies very much for sharing all of your positive experiences and your love. I really, really appreciate it. This is Coach Mo Fall. You can find me at mofall.com, anywhere on social media at Coach Mo. And yes, indeed, Paula, uh, Absolutely, you experienced that last year. You had to stop attracting the bad and start attracting the good. And by doing that, you have to focus on the good and focus on the good in you first. It's the way to go, folks. If you are looking for a better life, better career, check us out. Mofall.com slash live clarity call is where it all begins. I'll see you next time on Facebook Live Motivational Monday. Also, sign up for receiving my podcast emails on weekend motivation. You get that Saturday morning in your inbox. So you have something to keep you high vibing over the weekend. Check you out next time. Thanks everyone for listening. This is coach Mofall, mofall.com. See you next time.